it's not a secret to anybody. I issued a complaint with YouTube over copyright infringement. I've always made it known that I have no problem with people doing reactions to my videos. There was a channel and there was someone being harassive and bullying towards me. They actually did a screen record and a kind of a sloppy screen record of that and it goes against everything that I believe and all of them were slanderous, they were harassive, and they were bullying in nature. I will not back down. I didn't realize that the channel would be taken down. I wasn't aiming for that. I was aiming for the videos to be removed. If you don't agree with me, that's fine too. But the harassment and the bullying is not okay and I will not stand. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. I just want to clarify because I think I did a poor job in my last video clarifying this. With this type of commentary style video, they're not reactions. I'm not taking away reactions. I will still be doing reactions moving forward. This is just in addition to my channel. When possible, I'll try to keep them short form. However, I did take a lot of the feedback and suggestions that you guys had. So hopefully you do see a bit of the difference in this video. So just to clarify, reactions, they'll still be here. Unless there's something really small that I can address in a short video, then it will be in this commentary style video. Now let's get right into it. So on April 5th, Michelle and Nick over on One Vlog Away uploaded a video titled Life by Jen, Copyright Strikes Reaction Channel, My Opinion. She also went on to tweet about it on Twitter and tag Jen asking what's the deal. Jen replied, the deal is the person screen recorded my video and just talked over them. This wasn't a reaction channel or a reaction. It was uploading my entire video. I have no issue with people reacting to my videos, no matter how negative, but not re-upping my entire video. That's when I went ahead and took a screen grab of it because I've been following Life by Jen for some time. We do follow each other. I did take a screen grab of it because it is a private account and I let her know it's still transformative. There are many reaction channels that use that style of reacting, just so you know. I actually believe your real issue is her covering your older channel, to be honest. My DMs are open if you'd like to speak about it, but this is not okay. Now, before moving forward, I'd like to make something very clear. Uh, anyone who's been following me for some time knows I like Jen. I never really saw what other people saw in her as far as her problematic behavior, but that's also because I was not fully aware of that older channel until this copyright strike actually happened. I actually found the channel Who Is She, I wanna say a couple weeks back. I did watch a few minutes of a couple of their videos and I found it interesting because they were the only channel that I had known at the time that was covering such older content of Jen's and I thought that was cool. Up until recently, Aphrodite's Peach also did cover that channel as well and gave credit to Who Is She to have people check her out, seeing that she seems to be the only reaction slash commentary channel to be covering that older content. Not only is that content older, it's actually on a separate channel. I am i don't know the reason she switched it over. However, it's on a completely different channel, so that probably plays a part in why I wasn't aware those videos existed. Now, Jen did end up DMing me. Now, prior to DMing me, I, I did have a conversation with Michelle and I also did have a conversation with Who Is She? Because I wanted to clarify if it was copyright strikes or if it was Who Is She breaking terms of service. Who Is She did send over the screenshots of not only the copyright strikes, but the emails she also sent over to Jen. Now I did end up watching the video that Jen posted last night, and this is when my opinion of her started to change just a bit, well quite a bit. So when Jen put together her video, she intentionally only talked about and included the screenshot of the worst email that who is she sent. This person proceeded to threaten me in an email, which I have copies of the emails. I wanna make something very clear. I don't agree with that screenshot. I do believe she'd said it out of anger. However, it was still wrong. So the original email that who is she sent over to Jen that Jen mentioned in her own video, disregarded and blocked, says, hi Jen, I noticed my channel was gone today. I heard your cat passed away on Thursday and didn't want to discuss you since I'm very sorry this happened to you. Now as for my channel, 
you and I both know it's fair use. Do you really want to do this court thing? If you'd like, I'll take down the videos you struck. I'm willing to work something out. If not, I'll pursue legal measures and I'm sure you don't want that and I certainly don't want that. Thank you, who is she? Now to me, that sounds pretty reasonable. I'm not quite sure why Jen decided to discard that original email and block her. However, it could have been by the advice of this supposed lawyer. Now, in Jen's video, she did go on and say she did get legal advice from a family friend who is a lawyer. However, she kept out the part that she actually said to me in the DMs that this lawyer is not a copyright lawyer. I issued a complaint with YouTube over copyright infringement of my work, my uploads. This was done at the advice of a family friend who is an attorney. I sought their advice before I did this because I wanted to make sure that I am within my legal rights and I knew what I was dealing with and if I had any rights in this area or not. That's not to say lawyers who practice a certain type of law may not have knowledge of other legal issues or things like that, but someone who specializes in it would have the best knowledge. So she did leave that out of her video that I did start to see like, wow, you're intentionally leaving certain information out of this video. Not only in an attempt to make it seem as though Jen took the proper steps, but also I believe this was done in an attempt to make who is she look worse than what she was. Even within the DMs where Jen and I spoke, she never brought up the initial emails that who she sent her. She only focused on the last one, which was the worst one, definitely in poor taste, but that's the only one she definitely focused on or ever spoke about because it fits the narrative that she's saying. Here's the problem with that video that I had the most, and I intentionally added some clips in the beginning of this video to point it out. Jen focused on slander, bullying, and harassment the most in this video. Over the last couple of weeks, I have had several people message me, email me, and direct message me that there was a channel and there was someone being harassive and bullying towards me. There was quite a lot of videos. I don't know exactly how many now. I would say over 10. And all of them were slanderous, they were harassive, and they were bullying in nature. But the harassment and the bullying is not okay and I will not stand for it. That is why this is wrong. The videos that Who Is She had on her channel were transformative. The couple of videos I saw were transformative. What Jen described on Twitter was transformative. Within her video, I lost count of how many times Jen said either the statement about bullying, slander, or harassment. This is a prime example of what it looks like to abuse the copyright system. If you feel you're being harassed, if you feel like you're being bullied, she has steps to do that. She can report the videos, not in a copyright claim that is different. As of last night, the channel Who Is She did start the process to try to fight this. She wasn't aware that even with the three strikes and her channel being removed, she wasn't aware that she'd be able to fight it. A few content creators, including myself, did inform her she still can fight this. She should still fight it. And seeing that Jen said she will fight this until the end and nothing can change her mind. Now, I do know that this the person's... that have their channel taken down, they have a right to fight that and they're more than welcome to. I will not back down. I believe that I am 100% in the right of what I did and I, I acted within my rights. If I need to take further legal action, I will. If this person wants to pursue it, I am more than prepared to pursue it as well. I will not back down on this whatsoever. What I believe both channels should do is go through the process with YouTube and see what happens in the end. My opinion stays the same as of right now. This is transformative. And Jen not only misrepresented things in her video, she misrepresented things with me and when we spoke as well. Now, I do wish them both the best and I hope that Jen at least learns from this. I don't know the true intent behind why Jen decided to strike that channel three times. However, I also don't believe that Jen didn't know striking it three times would result in what is happening as we speak. So after this had all happened and the channel was taken down, I didn't realize that the channel would be taken down. I wasn't aiming for that. I was aiming for the videos to be removed. Um, I am now noticing the half truths that Jen can tell. I hope she learns from the situation, the fact that so many people are actually aware of it and so many people are critical of her. I hope she learns from it and also sees that not many people out there are out to get her. A lot of people want her to succeed, especially because she's one of, in my opinion, 
the least toxic and problematic out of the ladies we speak of. In a pinned comment below, I will have all channels and videos that are relative to the topic. I want to thank you guys for tuning into this video as well. Remember, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. Later.